I'm Megan, I'm back for another week of somatic shorts, specifically working with learning how to engage and then strengthen some of the deep core muscles. So if you didn't find one or two, go find those first. We're on to three today, which is gonna be a little bit more towards working on strengthening the transversus abdominis muscles down here and your pelvic floor muscles. So once again, same position, coming down onto the ground into our constructive rest eventually, but feel free to roll your legs around. I always like to do this first, just to land and locate in the pelvis, allow the back body to relax into the ground. And notice how as you draw your knees in and the tailbone lifts, you're really lengthening your low back. As opposed to what we wanna be aware of when we do these, these movements today is that if you start to walk your feet forward and your back is arching, then when that back is arched, we don't have access to these trans transversus abdominis or the pelvic floor muscles, so it's gonna be really important to keep the low back on the ground. Additionally, we'll be doing some options with extending the legs, so feel free to take your legs long, take a full body yawn, big breath in, purposely arch the back now. Take a few breaths there with the front body long, from the fronts of the hips, through the collarbones. And exhale, let it go. The first one we're gonna do Large in place toe dips. Now we're ready to come into constructive rest. So feet on the floor, hips, knees, and ankles in line. And it's really important we have this nice line with the legs. First one we do is called march in place. So sense where your feet are. You can place your hands on your abdomen if you'd like. I'm gonna give you a couple hands options. Start to sense on your exhalation how we're once again engaging the lower abdominal area and the pelvic floor. So if you press your low back and low ribs down like we did in the pelvic tilting, that'll help you to feel that. The other thing you can do if you're not feeling that contraction, go back to the other videos, but you could also place your hands underneath the low buttocks, palms facing down. That just helps to keep you in that little bit of posterior tilt where it's easier to access these muscles. So either one, take a breath in, feel your left foot on the floor, and you might even take that little arch because it could feel good. And then as you breathe out, low back, low ribs into the ground and lift up your left leg just to 90 degrees. So here's the trick. I know we want to bring it all the way in. The work is actually here. When we come back here, gravity is going to hold the leg for us. So we want to stop here and we want to imagine drawing the leg in from the abdominal wall. So think of how big and strong your leg is and heavy. And as you exhale, draw it in just to this 90 degrees. Even my ankle is straight off my knee. Inhale, drop it down. Feel your right foot. You can arch a little bit if you'd like. Exhale, right leg. Trying to find that 90 degrees. Kneecap over the front of the hip. Ankle straight off the knee. And then we go down on inhale. So this might seem really simple. <laughs> but finding that 90 degree line is gonna help you to engage and also slightly pressing low back, low ribs down. So what I like to imagine is that I'm lifting the weight of the leg with not only my lower abdominal muscles, but the pelvic floor. Inhaling foot comes down, we can arch the back. I'll move my arms so you can see. Exhale just to the 90 degrees, go very slow. And even inhaling, taking the leg back down, that's the little bit of fight with gravity as you slowly feel those muscles release in the front of the abdomen and the pelvic floor, the full release at the top of the inhale, and then the exhale, the recoil once again. If you find you're taking your legs too far back, the other thing you can do is put your hands up like little bumpers, but you really wanna stop when you're Thigh bone is 90 degrees from your spine and your shin bone is parallel to the spine or to the floor. So see if you can find that. And if you are by now, you're probably 
building just a little bit of heat, perhaps. Using the breath, really important part of this. It's the exhalation where we can engage and contract the abdominal wall and the pelvic floor. It's just the way we're made. The inhale, the low back arches, the belly fills, the pelvic floor stretches. Take a few more of these, march in place. Just our little warm up here. Last round if you'd like. Remember you can also be putting your hands underneath you here. All right, and then come down. Let's just do some windshield wipers in between. You can widen your feet, let your knees fall one direction, and then the other, it should feel good in between. So that's the first one to start to do a little bit more active strengthening in those TVA areas in the pelvic floor. The next one we're gonna do, I call toe dips. So now, you're gonna take both legs into that 90 degrees, and you'll notice when I go to do this, if I just lift my legs, my back will arch off the floor. So what I tend to do is kind of lift the tailbone, lengthen the low back, and flatten it out, and then find that 90 degrees. So you should be able to look and see your, your ankles are at the height of your hips. Knees are about hip distance apart right over the fronts of the, of the hips. This is another good one. If you're already feeling your back arching away from the floor, we know where that neutral pelvis is. Take your hands and put them just slightly underneath the low buttocks. So now we're going to inhale. Think of your left foot first. Just gently dip the toes into the ground and you might feel your back arch a little when you dip. But as you exhale, lift that leg back up just to 90 degrees. So once again, not pulling it back here. Stop, there's our exhale. Inhale, right toes, dip into the water. Exhale, draw in. So see if you can find that. If your back is arching on the inhale when the foot's coming down, that's okay. But the less you let your pelvis rock back and forth, the more work it's gonna be for the muscles. So keeping the natural curve in your low back or even slight posterior tilt, tailbone slightly lifted, if you find that when your leg is coming back, it's coming too far, use your hands for bumpers here. Inhaling and dipping. Exhale, think of your abdominal wall and your pelvic floor muscles. They're lifting the weight of the leg. Almost like you're walking in place. Going nice and slow. So can you sense the stillness of the pelvis itself in that neutral position? You're just moving from your hip crease, a slight movement in the knee joint. Inhaling, keep the low back, low ribs on the floor as much as you can. Again, the hands could be here. Notice other things too like does your jaw tighten? Are your shoulders tightening? Can you keep those relaxed? Because we cannot pick the weight of our legs up from our shoulders or our jaw or our neck. <laughs> so keep those relaxed. Those are bad habits we sometimes get into. So really focusing on the low abdominal area and pelvic floor. If you've been doing all my videos, you now see why we did those other two first. Do one or two more if you'd like, just dipping the legs down. And then next time you can draw your knees in again. And then take a full body stretch if you'd like. Should feel good. And release that. So the last movement in this video, you may or may not choose to do depending on how you felt with doing just the toe dips. And we do wanna be cautious with things like the rectus abdominis muscle, especially if you just had children. This can be a really good practice to wake these up, but uh, post childbearing, we wanna be cautious that we're using the right muscles. So we're gonna come back to that uh, 90 degree position with the legs. You can lengthen that tailbone, lengthen your waist. 
So I'm going to ask, at least for the start of this one, to go ahead and put your hands underneath your buttocks to keep your pelvis in either more of a neutral or even slightly tilted posterior, so that low back, low ribs touching the floor more, tailbone slightly lifted. So same thing as with the dips, but now this will bring in a little more leg and definitely more core. As you breathe in, you're going to extend the leg. Imagine pushing through the heel and the ball of the foot like you're pushing on a pedal. I call them pedal presses. Exhale, slowly come back, but just again to that 90 degrees. We're not going to draw the leg all the way back here. So exhaling, opposite leg, inhale into full extension. So the core is going to have to work a little bit more on the pelvic floor to draw the leg in from that full extension. Inhaling and pressing through. And exhaling back. Once again, if you're keeping the pelvis quiet, not rocking back and forth, you could try your hands here like bumpers to make sure you're not pulling the leg too far back. And I know one of the ways we start to kind of slough off is we'll drop the foot or we'll only come part way back. So really work on finding that 90 degrees. That's the work for your core muscles. Should start to feel some heat building. If this is feeling really simple for you and you want a little bit more challenge as you push out, you can also reach your arms overhead and then bring your arms back. Oops, not too far though. Inhale, keep the low back on the ground. So if you're taking arms, press the back line into the ground as you extend and come back. So watch that we're not going into that big banana back arch. Take a few more because I just want you to feel the heat that you can build in this area using these deep core muscles. If you haven't thought about your pelvic floor, see if the pelvic floor is helping out here. Expanding on the inhale and contracting along with the abdominal wall on the exhale. Check in again, then everything up, up top is relaxed. We're not trying to lift our legs from our shoulder blades or our neck. Last one. Feel free to take the legs down, hug them in, full body stretch. Or do a few more if you'd like. Thanks for joining me for video number three, learning to find, activate, and strengthen the core. Peace, joy, love, and light.